fits into that bracket. And we can do it just like that. Now it is in place, isn't going to fall off, yet you could take it off if you wanted to. It has complete controls, it works automatically, very, very easy to install, and adds that extra margin of safety. Because let's face it, daytime running lights do help prevent accidents. And if your car doesn't have them, or if you simply want the look, this is a good way to do it. Now, something else that we find is that these air dams and various plastic pieces under the front of the car are often damaged in parking. You know, you have those triangles. All right, folks. How y'all doing, everybody? This is uh, Big Dave here on Dave TV, DCRTV.com. How y'all doing, everybody? Hey, it's a Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The um, the um, um, um <laughs> it's Sunday, the uh, 29th. The 20, yeah, the 29th. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's Pat Gloss there. Pat Gloss from um, from uh, Motor Week there, which is produced by Maryland Public Television, which is right down the road here over at uh, Owings Mills, Maryland. Uh, it's one of their nationally syndicated shows that shows, shows up on PBS stations all over the country. Uh, they used, wasn't there a commercial version of that, too, that was also shown on one of the cable networks? I don't know. But anyhow, Pat Goss is in the news this week because apparently uh, WJFK has uh, said adios to him. He's been doing a show on WJFK for many years, off and on. It was on WJFK, you know, it used to be on like Saturday mornings back when they were a guy talker back in the late 90s and early 2000s or whatever. And then it, when, I think when when JFK, there was a while there where the, he went off and was on that, remember that 3WT and Washington Post radio thing for a while? And then he came back to JFK. So his radio show where he takes calls and answers, you know, drivers' problems, requests and all that. Uh, that's been on the air off and on in the Washington market for a long time. Well, anyhow, we're told that Saturday show yesterday, the uh, 28th, uh, he came on and said that was going to be his last on WJFK. Now, WJFK, CBS Sports Talker, is going to be picking up this new CBS Sports, was it, CBS Radio Sports Network, okay? Um, and that's launching soon. And so I presume a lot of that overnight, a lot of that evening, a lot of the uh, weekend programming on WJFK from now on will be coming off of that. Now, I'm not sure when that new network starts. It's, I'm starting up this fall. But I'm not sure if it's going to be getting into full swing until um, first of the year. But anyhow, look for it. CBS Sports Talkers like 106.7 here in, in Washington and 105.7 up there in Baltimore, <clears throat> including the yeah, 1300. Now, 1300 up there in Baltimore, the WJZAM. Will be picking up the new uh, CBS Sports Radio Network full time and dropping their ESPN radio coverage. So uh, <clears throat> that will be interesting to see that how that plays throughout the nation. But that's the big news today. Um, so I like Pat Goss. He's a cool guy. Funny thing I like about listening to him is that he gets kind of cranky. You know, if he disagrees with a you know caller, he'll yell at them. He will. You know, if the caller says, "Well," uh, I put this kind of oil in my car. He'll go, no, no, no. Don't use that kind of oil. You'll ruin your car. Uh, that's, my, that's my Seinfeld. You'll ruin your car. <laughs> All right, everybody. So anyhow, 15th anniversary of DCR TV coming up in September. We really need your donations, okay? Um, got a lot of uh, advertisers on board, as always. But, you know, we're an independent little site. And advertisers do cover a chunk of our uh, expenses, but we always need more, more, more. <laughs> you know, a lot of advertisers are hit by the recession. So, you know, we give them good deals, uh, which means, you know, <laughs> that, uh, you know, we need to make money elsewhere. So uh, do uh, think about making a donation to DCR TV if you can. Uh, any amount is well appreciated, but if, it wants, if you want to make it... Uh, a lot, that's better than a little. <laughs> but just click on the support link. 
click on the support link there on DCR TV's front page, and it'll show you how you can make a donation with PayPal, which is really easy. If you've got a PayPal account, you just type in the number and boop. Or you can send us a check in the mail, okay, which we also deeply appreciate, okay? Thank you very, 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 very much. Interesting. Oh, Betsy Rothstein over there at Fishbowl, D.C., it's funny, you know, once a month or so, Joe Curl over there, Washington Times, he works at the Washington Times, he also works at Drudge, gives them a Drudge link, okay? I, it's a favor of some sort, I guess, I don't know, he, you know, what, I don't know what Betsy does for him, but he gives her a favor every now and then. Once a month or so, he gives her a Drudge link, and, you yeah, know, she got the story up about the new, uh, about the CB, about CNN's president and head dude leaving uh, back on Friday. And, yeah, I've got it up five seconds before everybody else did, I guess. And so Joe linked to her little blurb. And they get, like, a thousand comments or something like that from all the crazy dredgies telling them what an evil, rotten, illiberal uh, network CNN is, blah, blah, blah. You know, predictable, predictable, predictable. The funny thing is, though, nothing you – know, people don't go to any of those other empty – Fishbowl DC pages. There's nothing on. It's funny. You got Betsy and her two and her two toy boys that she hired, uh, Fat Peter and that other kid, guy, the scary guy. Anyhow, it's like they have these three guys and they work out of a Starbucks, right? I don't even think they have an office, even a home office. And it's like this boring stuff nobody reads. You know, there's no comments on anything. There's no retweets of anything. It's just. This you know, little tiny Capitol Hill newsy stuff that, you know, oh, they got a new uh, assistant marketing manager at uh, the Hill, like, you know, exclusive. It's like, oh, gosh, it's sad. I really think, really think Meaty Beast or the parent over there needs to get rid of these, you know, Betsy and the Toy Boys and start over. Really? Uh, Peter there, Peter Odd, Oddburn, I think his name is. He's like a producer for uh, for um, Bill Press's radio show, which I, you know literally gets no gets no audience. Nobody watches it on current. Uh, it's on what is it on fourteen eighty in Washington, which never shows up in the Washington radio ratings. You know, literally, literally, I'd be surprised if six people are listening to that station. Literally. <laughs> Oh, well. What are you going to do? All right, folks. One of the other – the last thing I wanted to do today on DCR TV, Dave TV, is um, do a nice little thing on some of the new graphics we're getting in. You know, we, we, got a, we got a lot of people that send us really cool images, and I eventually get them up on DCR TV Plus, which, of course, is only $15 during our 15th anniversary uh, thing. So, uh, anyhow, here's some – I'm going to give you a quick hit of some of the new graphics we're getting up, Okay. Uh, we're coming in. Incoming graphics. Incoming graphics. So these will you'll see these more uh, as we, uh, you know, these will be on. These are future DCRDV Plus uh, cool graphics that we'll be getting up there. There's Jim Hart. Jim Hart's. And Jim Hart's and Jim Vance. Was his name Jim Hart's? Jim Hart's. Yeah, Jim Hart's and Jim Vance. Jim Hart's. I was what, didn't know what his first name was. And Sue Simmons back when she worked at Channel 4. Hmm. 1978. That's cool. And uh, there's some more Channel 4. There's uh, Jim Hartz and Sue Simmons again. There's Sue Simmons, who just got the boot from uh, Channel 4 up in New York City after working there for, like, you know, 300 years. So that's another Channel uh, 4 78 memory. There's a uh, 1978 election memory there for uh, Channel 2. That's cool. And uh, there's a Channel 13 memory from 19... These are all 78 memories. You're one and wonderful. Happy birthday evening. Remember evening the ma the evening magazine there at 7.30 in the evening? There's Channel 13 out of Baltimore. There's a nice memory there of Stan Stovall and Ron Smith. The late, great Ron Smith. He passed away back in December. Cool guy. I liked Ron a lot. Uh, Channel, when, he was, when he was the anchor there at Channel 11, WBAL-TV in 90s, again, 78. And uh, I presume this is another set. Somebody was uh, sending us stuff from the TV Guide from 1978 there. Channel 45, meet the team that brings you 91 newscasts a week. Isn't that Bill Lefevre? Remember Bill Lefevre? Um, he used to do little newscasts there and do the money. The, they used to have a money movie show or something. Ernie Boston, remember him? Um, the, 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 that's the guy who's Captain Chesapeake. I can't think of his name offhand. George something or other. <laughs> but, but there you go. There's the uh, back before uh, the Sinclair. And, well, I guess they were owned by Sinclair back then, weren't they? Back when, you know, this was... um. Interesting. Back uh, channel 45 there. Okay. 
And there we go. Look at that one. I never saw that poster before. Incredible music, WHFS, back when they were on 102.3 FM. Very cool. And there's the uh, WBAL van there uh, in Atlantic City, New Jersey, I'm told, from 19 the 50s. I don't know what they're covering. Maybe the Miss America pageant. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Back when it was in Atlantic City. And uh, there we go. We had Channel uh, Channel Seven Memory from 1977. They used to run an evening magazine show called 7:30 Live. And the Money Movie. And this is cool. Now remember this. Remember the Money Movie. Who did that? I can think of the guy. I can picture the guy in my head. It wasn't John Harder, was it? Somebody else. Money Movie. Disaster Week. Look at these movies. The This Island Earth, one of my favorites of all time. When Worlds Collide, War of the Worlds. Great stuff there. Uh, the afternoon movie there on Channel 7. And, of course, when Mary Hartman was on uh, Channel 20. Remember that? Mary Hartman! Mary Hartman! They only released one uh, year of that on DVD. But I'd love to see more of that. It's a great classic show. So there you go, folks. How you doing? 11-minute mark. Thanks for watching Dave TV on this... Um, Sunday, 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 Sunday. Now I'm going to go check out the Capital Weather Gang and see what the hype, the weather hype for today is, whether we're going to have any tornadoes or uh, that metal tornado will come through with the uh, slice everybody up, slice the houses up, blah, 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 and pave new waves for toll roads to be built. All right, folks, thanks for watching Dave TV for Sunday, the 29th of... Uh, Gosh, you know what? It just it just hit me. Today's the seventh anniversary of me living in my condo here. Wow, moved in here in 2005. Uh, yeah, it was that, that last weekend in, in July of uh, 2005. So seven years. You know, I've lived in the Washington area since 1972, 40 years. Wow. So there. Yeah.